Hey guys, for this tutorial, I just want to go over how to use the different camera settings and how to understand the viewports in relation to those camera settings so that you guys have different ways of viewing your model and making changes to the model. Okay. And so if you remember, if you double click here on the word perspective, it toggles back and forth, taking you between that single viewport view and the one that shows all four viewports. Okay, so that's step number one is to remember that you can always toggle back and forth between those two. Once you're in, in any either, either of those settings, you can also actually change what each of those different cameras is doing. So for example, if I wanna change this top view, I go and I click on that little tab next to the word top and I go down to set view. And now I can actually choose any one of these as an option, right? So I had it at top, but I can also, for example, turn it into another perspective view. And you'll see that, you know, this might just be useful if you, if you wanna look at something at an object simultaneously from two different views. Um, you can also actually change this. And if you notice, this is a perspectival view, right? So I can, I can go back and I can actually change this, going to set view, and I can change it to be an isometric view, right? And if you remember, an isometric view is different from a perspectival view because it is a parallel line projection, right? And so it doesn't, objects don't recede as you, you know, change your viewpoint into the back. Uh, they stay constant uh, in their proportions to each other, right? So you could look at something, you know, perspectively and through parallel projection. This might be useful if you're trying to make some kind of measured drawing or something along those lines, right? Um, or you can look at things orthogonally. Right. And one of the important things to remember is that also each of these different uh, viewports or camera angles or camera settings, right, have different parameters as their base parameters, right. So, for example, if I'm looking at things in perspective or in parallel line and I want to move objects, I will be moving along the X, Y, Z axis unless I specify directly that I want to move vertically along the z-axis, okay? However, if you're in a front or a side view, right? Or a back view, right? You will actually by default be moving vertically, right? So you don't have to specify that you wanna move vertically. You will be doing it um, so long as you're moving it in, in that view panel, right? So it's actually very useful to toggle back and forth depending on how you want to move things so you can move things accurately. So for example, I could move this up to hear very quickly, right? Okay, so that's various ways of using the viewports. Now, another important thing to, to now talk about, and I'm gonna actually uh, stick with the four panel view, but look at this one, is that we can actually also save camera views, right? And so I could, for example, some, to select that this is a very particular viewpoint that I need to keep. And I could actually go in and go to set view, and go to named views and save that. I'm going to give it a name view A. Okay. And I click OK. Great. And now actually I can move around. And if I ever need to return to view A, now I can actually go back, go to that set view, and you'll see that it appears now below the named views. And once as soon as I click it, I'll get to see it. Right, it goes back to being that exact same view. So that can be very important if you want to set particular views that you go back to to make drawings uh, or to have particular perspectives that you want to highlight and go back to periodically. Okay, so that being said, one last thing to look at is actually how to place a camera. Okay, and this is important if you want to make changes relative. Uh, to a particular viewpoint and you want to control exactly that viewpoint relative to an object. So in this case, I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to draw a vertical line actually. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go here and click vertical. You can also just type B and I'm going to make a vertical line that is six inches tall. 
Okay, so there's my line. And now I, I have a, a, a position that it is away from the object. And so I actually want to place a camera that is on the top point here looking at this object. So what I can do actually is I can go here and I can go to set camera. And you'll see here that when you go to set camera, there's a bunch of different options. But if you look here, you can say you can see the one that says place camera and target. So if I select that option, I'm going to place the camera. So I'm saying that the, the, the viewpoint of the camera starts here. And then now I said to have to set its target location. And I'm going to set its target location as if the center of the viewport is right here. And you'll see that immediately, right, we get that view. So that's the view of looking there, looking from here towards that point, OK? If I want to, actually, I can also go to here in camera, and I can actually show the camera. And so you'll see that in the other viewports, except for the one that you're viewing, right, it will show you the camera, right? And the camera is delineated by its starting point or its focal point, right? And then the viewing frame, right? And you can actually now move that relative to this, uh, all this information. So I can go ahead and move this to be here, right? And I can actually also move my frame. So I can move, I can actually, for example, rotate this. Make it smaller, right? So it, it changes. Or I can actually rotate based off of my viewpoint. So here, if I'm going to take, I can actually change. And you can see how we're now changing that camera. And we can see what that effect is in our view A, yeah, right? So I can go ahead and do this. Maybe I move this back a bit, right? And you can see that actually, because right now we're looking at a parallel projection, by moving it back, it doesn't actually affect how our object looks in terms of its, you know, perspectival recession, right? We would have to actually go here and change this view away from an isometric into a perspective. And then we would see that actually this is a very distorted camera, right? But if we can now move that point, place that point here, right? And we'll get to see how much that changes, right? So again, if now if I move that point further away, you'll see that that object seems to recede in the distance, obviously, the further away I am from it. Okay, so that should give you a good sense of the many different ways that you can play and understand cameras and understand the viewports relative to how you use cameras. All right, see you guys in the next one.